Ah, it is amazing. Well met once again, everyone, and welcome to Definitive Ring. I think that is what I decided to call this series, although I'm not entirely sure. So, first of all, to say that this video has um, timestamps in case you want to uh, skip everything uh, that is introduction and whatnot. However, I would advise if you want to find out what this series is going to be like, the state uh, during the intro. I'm trying to speak, but the, the thing is I haven't heard this song in so long that it just has me going. Damn, okay. So. First of all, as usual, introduction is needed. Explaining what this is going to be about. So, when the trailer came out, and I'm talking about Shadow of Earthry, of course, you're watching this video on 21st of June. I saw everyone doing preparation and building their characters and what so I started to wonder what should I do and I and I considered doing it because everyone else was doing it and it wasn't until I talked about it with Mikolash that told me Fabian don't prepare for DLC just play DLC and I was like after being a knockhead runner myself and mastering a couple of those games it is true, the best way to enjoy these games is to go and prepare. Really? So, I didn't do anything. I didn't touch the game. So, um, if I sum it up, I have not touched the game in well over a year. Which is why it's going to be cool. What is the idea of this series? Well, the idea is to uh, attempt although I do not promise that it will happen, but to attempt a 100% completion. So doing all the content, all the quests, that sort of thing. And also adding the DLC to it. So I have no idea how this is going to unravel. It's not going to be a an in-depth series as it is my Baldur's Gate 3. It's probably going to be very in-depth when it comes to uh, gameplay and quest. I do not remember much, but yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of um, content on everything around the map and every quest. I do not know if I can manage to bring up lore and discussions. I am not very well versed in this game. But in any case, that is the that is the initial idea, a hundred percent completion. Um, to work our way through the uh, to the DLC, better said. Um. So let's begin. Let's begin. So you must you must be wondering first of all, what are you going to do? I don't have any um, initial idea. I was thinking. To, to try and, and, and build up a paladin? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Actually, we're gonna go Vagabond. And I'm probably going to be trying a uh, to have a long-term quality build. Uh, I'm not very interested on doing any challenge or, or, or some sort. If you come here because you know me from not hit runs and stuff like that, I would advise to close the video and we'll watch someone else because that is not what's going on here. I am basically a beginner. This game, at this point, I'm basically a beginner. Yeah, it's been a long time. And that is because I also prepared a little something to accompany us in this journey. 
I did the best I could, okay? <laughs> I did the best I could. It's supposed to be a sell. Shoutouts to the guy on Reddit. But with that being said, let's begin. And let's see how this unravels. Right. Um, I got no idea, quite frankly. Well, you can you cannot go wrong with the stone sword key, right? I mean, it's been almost two years since I played the game, so probably uh, already I'm gonna have people tell me that I fucked up. But that's fine. We want it that way. We want to overcome whatever happens. I do not want to prepare the game. I do not want to master the game. I don't. I do not want to prepare a no hit run or something like that. I want the struggle. The volume might be a little low. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the land. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment. By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Gideon of Mir, the all-knowing. The all-knowing is a bit pretentious. But then again, he knew I would come. And one other, whom Grace would again bless. Tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord.
So it begins. I don't know how I did with the character, by the way. I mean, it kind of looks like it. I mean, it's it's really the best I could find. Then again, shout out to the guy on Reddit. This is going to be lit. I have not played... I, I really have not played Souls games since I quit. Uh, no hit. And now I feel like a beginner, so this is this is going to be great. Hold on, let me check. At least for me, I, I'm I'm talking about that I'm really going to enjoy this. There was nothing here. In any case, um, I do have a little setup in mind. I think I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. The thing will be um, to just try and follow the uh, the quest from there, because when it comes to when it comes to the beginning of the game, I remember a lot. It's where no hit runners spend most of their streams, so I I still got that a little bit fresh. But it's later on when it's going to get messy. Oh, and also something I wanted to mention while the cinematic... Oh! That is the first death. You can count that. <laughs> something I wanted to mention uh, during the cinematic... It's the, uh, the... The introduction with the images and whatnot... It's been criticized a couple of times uh around me at least i don't know i never felt like it's a, it was a budget cut or a cheap uh way of introducing i i really liked it quite frankly the the imagery it's quite amazing so very well there is this boss i remember not entirely sure well pretty sure actually that i cannot beat this guy oh, i don't have a fat rule but why not? Let's just give it a try. Well, there's your try. <laughs> Jesus. I did not remember that guy. What's, uh, what is the deal with Torrent, by the way? I never knew if there is any theory out there that explains. Because supposedly he he knows me or something like that. Don't worry, Torrent. From before? Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I don't trust her.
Off we go. Well, we could certainly go through that cave to get the ru uh, some runes and whatnot, but... Ah. Really? I wouldn't do that, guys. Of course not. I am a professional. I mean, it, it, it does have a resemblance. It doesn't look very much alike. But you guys will have to learn to love her. Because we do love her in this channel. That is the claw gaming finger. That's how that's how you you manage to run and move the camera at the same time. I wouldn't advise it quite frankly. It's supposed to be very bad for your hands. But anyway, let's get to it. We'll make it to Lingrave. Beautiful sight. Amazingly looking. And there's this idiot now. Let's talk to him. Although my personal romantic life is none of your fucking business, but okay. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Maidenless and to die in obscurity, man, like, can you... Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. I ain't taking you, bitch. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. What? Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. To we know this already. Veil, over on the cliff. The home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Grafted. It's time you set off. I, I did not know grafting was a thing in real life, by the way. On the cliff, where Grace would guide you, if you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Stop it. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff. So that is that it? Grace would guide you if you seek the elf. Yeah, that's it. Very well, lads. So, I think it's mandatory. Uh, hold on. Did I did I set this bonfire? Yeah, I think it's mandatory that we attempt to kill the sentinel. At least once. I'm not gonna be able. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to because I, I I definitely suck. But let's give it a try. Why not? That's what we're here to play. I wasn't on range. Shit. I can't see. <laughs> of 
fuck. Shit. <laughs> well, there you go. It went a little better than I expected it to. But there is second death. I won't be counting, by the way. <laughs> Feel free to do so. By the end of the playthrough, you can tell me how many they were. If you feel like it, I definitely won't be counting anymore. In any case, to the matters ahead. We want to... F uh, in this series, we want to clear as much content as we can, so... That was a little silly thing I want to do, but let's get going. I really want to get as much dialogue and get as, uh, try to see if I can manage and get all the quests. Which I don't even know if it's possible, but at least... I will try. So this is Vare. No, wait. Vare is the guy, the maidenless guy. This is... Uh... You're tarnished. I forgot. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Kale. fine goods. Okay, so the torch is pretty useful until we make uh, until we get the lantern, the pot, and the crafting kit. I think it's uh, the beginner's choice, and it probably will come in handy. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself. Who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Goodbye. Very well. Nice to do business. And yeah, I think it's a little low. Maybe like that. Well, you guys will let, uh, probably let me know in the comments. So... I would say, yeah, precisely. Let's go and get the torrent. Uh, all these caves that are in this area, I do want to clear all the villages as well. Basically, as I said, get everything. I'm not going to be killing every mob, but uh, every piece of content that is provided, I want to uh, clean... I forgot what this was. The cookery. I forgot how pretty this was. I love the ca the castles. Man, if you, if in the current generation and the next one, we could have this level of graphic, which is not which is not like really good, but we could have the same level of artistic design. I would sign the contract. Right away. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. 
No, Toyota Tacoma, please. Anyway. Have you heard of the finger maidens? I have never yes, fingered a maiden before. Two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maiden. Again with the same shit. I can play the role of maiden. Oh. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Very well. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Will do. Will do. So, one thing I'm gonna do here... Um... Let's pass the time. I think I'm going to... Okay, so I figure out a lot. I, I, <laughs> I just figure out. I, di I did not figure it out before. You can see how responsible I am. I figure out how I want to do this series. So, I think I'm going to be uh, trying to rush stuff whenever it's not dialogue. Uh, like that one, for example. So... I kind of have clear what I got, what I want to do now. I don't know how well prepared I am, but I want to clear this place. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, the guy with the trumpet or whatever that is, the war horn, gotta kill him first. Otherwise, everyone's gonna come on to me. So we get the map. I want to have the, the the whole map as well. Very well. So the guy with the spear. Yeah, you see, I I I I still remember a few things here and there. I can do it again. No, I cannot. He's gonna. Hit me with the shields, precisely. That is one massive shield. Can I have it? There you are. Right. Oh. So we equipped the torrent. Lay cell of Crush Clear. Now take it off. That's it. So I said 
um, at the beginning I said quality long term build sort of thing. Maybe strength dex. It's quite standard, but I think it will it will be the most suitable for this occasion. I really don't believe myself capable of uh, doing anything crazy. And something I was thinking just now, it's maybe I'll get, uh, I'll try and get Blythe earlier and get that curve sword. Oh, it's full of people. This does not look very good. This, if I'm not mistaken, it say in the crushing axe thingy. It's a stomp, storm stomp. Mm. I fail to remember if there is anything worth here. Flail. I cannot use it, but still. Look at that. We are definitely not killing Margit with this sword. <laughs> in any case, we got the map, we cleared the area. I don't think there's anything else in this little uh, settlement. And as I told you, I want the whole map revealed. So getting all the maps, getting all the, the I don't know, scarabs and stuff like that, I will be doing. Now I believe I have to go here. And yeah, so as I told you, I'm gonna try later on this series oh, May I have a word? to rush whenever I don't have dialogues to to see. Because we need to, to, to make a setup. We need to do a setup for this series. And that's gonna be the first episode probably. This, this episode. Tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Who is Torrent? I can call the spectral steed. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for we get our first summon. Spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? You already know I will rebel. 
or at least she's realistic. But anyway, let's, as I told you, we're gonna get fast. We're gonna get, start to get uh, fasty, fasty, because I need to make a setup so we can clear, we can start clearing sooner all the content. I sort of, I was sort of thinking about uh, what I'm going to do for the, for the weapon and whatnot. Meanwhile, I was running about around killing the, the guys and I think I got an idea. So I already told you, maybe the curve sword's good. But then I, I'm also thinking on the spot what I'm going to do later. And, and also, will I... Will I use the summons? I don't know. Maybe to clear uh, mass, uh, big, big places. But I don't know, maybe not for the bosses. In any case, for example, this, this whole thing we're gonna clean. We're gonna kill that guy. Only not yet. In the meanwhile, we will do a setup and I'm gonna walk you through it. Why not? Maybe I'm gonna do the whole thing. Not entirely sure. But yeah, we're definitely coming back and clearing everything, killing them all. I don't remember what this is, a somber? No. A normal smithing stone. But I want to talk to Roderick as well. Get get that starting. Can never go wrong with a stone sword key. I wanna try to do this quest as well. The jellyfish. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Vare. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Pain thing. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, tell Very them one. I love that I'm finally getting... Gotta exhaust all the dialogues. Let's try and rush a little bit more with this setup thing. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to that guy, Warmaster. I forgot his name. Oh, can I pick that up? Right. Hello. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. That's a good armor. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight. 
Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, that armor and that sword for Lay Cell would be great. Yes, you're Should I kill this guy? Through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. So yeah, we can learn the Ash of Wars from this guy. And we get to kill him anyway later. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Not floating your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. Very well, thanks. Let's go toward the giants, uh, because here. Let's see if I can do this. I, th I I I'm I don't remember much how you have to do it, but you can call the aggro and try to make him break this. Right. And we get some materials. But then we're just... Oh. Then we're just gonna haul us out of them. Can probably kill them, but with this sword and uh, uh, not levels, it's, it's just gonna take ages. They're not difficult to kill anyway. Okay, there's a lance up there, but uh, well, we're not gonna use it. I just like to pick up stuff. The Exalted Flesh obviously uh, gives you a boost. I forgot what boost on strength, I think. And we're gonna get another one in just a second here. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am... Alexander. Alexander. Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop. That clean out, does I'm not sure. sound good. <laughs> Don't dally. Uh, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Give it your roll, I say. Very well. Ah. Well played, good lady. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well. I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Nice. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted, calid wilds. 
and upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> it does sound cool, mate. I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle. On the I've heard there's to be a right. As usual, we exhaust the dialogue. And we move on because we have a setup to do while we explore the lands between. I said at the beginning, I said at the introduction. But this is gonna be slow. This is gonna be a slow playthrough. I did not. Um, I do not intend to. Um, to rush to the DLC. I cannot for spoilers nor. nor anything else of that sort. I have my own experience. Let's say. And this is basically a hundred, uh, like a hundred percent walkthrough. Um, maybe just different, as it's not intended as a guide. I reckon it wouldn't work as a guide, since it's just me playing. But There's nonetheless, is the death has left ouch! Its mark once again. Stop it! I'm trying to talk to this guy. Ah, a tarnished, are you? I'm known as D. D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. The village here has been touched by death. And worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. Very well. Uh, well, I leave you to it, mate. Uh, to, to Be careful. So that is Summon Water Village, or I believe it's called. I don't even remember, quite frankly. Uh, but yeah, there is a mini boss in the canoe. The little boat. We won't be killing him yet. I mean, you can. It's not very difficult. It's only annoying because he summons a lot of uh, minions. But what we're doing here, it's a setup. And I think uh, it was in this area where you get the equivalent of what it would be the Chlorianthi ring, precisely. Ah, and we got two stones or keys. So it matters now that we wasted here. Super Mario. And this would be basically the equivalent to a Chlorianthi ring. So it's not bad, especially for starting. Now, since we're here, it's a very nice opportunity for me to, precisely I was going to say, to go towards those graves. Oh. Fuck. I didn't dismount it. Ah, uh, that was in the Ash of War. Okay. There is one close to this place. Uh, that is the church, third church of Marika, if I'm not mistaken. So it might be right before that. We get a nice Ash of War that I think... I, be I believe to remember that it was useful for... For a strength build, or a dex build, something like that. I'm not 100% certain. But we're gonna go take a look, why not? Um...
Okay. <laughs> I get lost. It's a big world. People like to criticize on them ring, but it's a big world and it's well made. But yes, here is the boost. And that thing, I don't know what to call it, quite frankly. And that is the scarab. Secret blade. Well, it can be useful, can it? Definitely. Here we get Sacred Tear and our Flask of Wondrous Physics. Um, from here we are going to take teleport here take me oh true and also we should already be resting so we can we can talk to Melina and we get going with some of the dialogues that I want to explore. Um, in any case, I do believe maybe you can use this as a guide for a hundred percent. I will be doing some research afterwards, but uh, maybe as. Maybe it's a very thoughtful walkthrough, but I wouldn't consider it nothing close to a guide. Oh! Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If you had the metal to endure this long... The metal of your posture. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hole, gathering place of tarnished champions. Oh, the Knights of the Round Table. Guided by Grace. Which, by the way, guys, very Excalibur well. from 1981 is the best fucking movie ever. Very well, welcome to Roundtable Hold. Let's see some of these guys. With this guy we already talked. It's the guy that does not like the living dead. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Those who live in death all the more by mariner. I believe he refers to the to the miniboss in the common water village. Oh, I see you've just arrived. This is medical sky. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin. Corin. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the golden order, so that one day. If a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Well, yeah. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. Oh. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? 
Argent heal. We could we could buy like the heals and become like a paladin or something. May the golden order I like paladins, you. but we are Lacelle, so maybe not. Uh I knew you come. Let me talk to this guy before. Is this the no it's, this is not the war master? Ah, hello. You must be new here. You look I'm, like a dick. Well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Very well, Lur... <coughs> Sorry, Luya? Oh, what do you say? Ah, oh, Lanya. She's been my companion since childhood. Lanya? I've lost count, honestly. She's such a little tomboy. Oh, that was more dialogue. I skipped it sure thinking... If you meet a young woman, she's a servant. She's been my companion. I've lost count of the number, honestly. Right, I, I skipped the, the dialogue thinking it was the same. Very well, Lanya. That's the... The Vistalios. The Dialos. That guy is caught in. And this one I know. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Ah, okay. Um... Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. You feel threatened? Left to say. Be at your leisure. Be well, thanks. And um, I guess we'll get to talk to more of them and the blacksmith later, especially when a certain character makes it here. So in the meanwhile, I guess we go back to to here because uh, there is a puzzle tower, if I'm not mistaken, here. So as the bridge with the dragon, worry not, because as I said, we are going to clean everything. Everything. Before we even make it to Shadow of Earth Tree. I forgot about that poison. Wait, shouldn't the Night Cavalry be here? Uh, may maybe it comes at night. Right? No. So yeah, there is this tower. It's a puzzle tower. I mean, it's not really a puzzle. It's not difficult or anything, but it's, uh, it's a nice detail. Oh, and also I'm going to let you know, uh, in case you don't know and you're trying to follow this as a guide or something, because you see that I'm just as bad as you watching this video, man, you need some help. And there is some ball, some boulder here that comes out at a certain spot. And you can use that to farm uh, between a thousand, a thousand and five hundred uh, souls. So I'll show, I'll show it to you in case you want to use it. Uh, you ride until this rock, and you turn around when you see that, and you have to look at it when it falls. And there it is, two thousand souls. Just in case you need some quick level when you're uh, at the very beginning. But yeah. To the matters ahead. I wanted to see this tower. Right.
I don't even remember what is in here. Increases memory slots. Very well. I'm pretty sure there was an enemy here. Yeah, I don't know why I keep doing claw. <laughs> it's a it's a muscle memory from the old days. I, I really do not recommend it. Tetric music, quite creepy. Oh, okay, that guy. Yeah, no, we're not gonna kill it yet because we're gonna need him. Uh, or more likely we want to come back later in the playthrough. But very well, there is the tower. That is... Uh, but it's a way of... Uh, wait, how do I get out? <laughs> it's a way of getting in. Apparently getting out, I do not remember how to. I ah, will just jump from here. You got some more runes here. To make easier those early levels. Sometimes I call them runes, sometimes I call them souls. I just I uh, just can't deal with change, can I? Actually, there's a long way over there. I'm gonna teleport here, and we are going to meet one of the greatest characters in the game and one of Sosa's favorite characters as well. You don't know who I'm talking about. Wait, there is the map there. Should probably get it. Wait, is this the third? Yeah. I'm a bit lost. Well, this was bound to happen. I cannot expect to remember all, like, everything that I get. Do you really put the music on for the boar? <laughs> One of my favorite streamers is um, Sosa. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the, the great, great Kenneth Kenneth Height. Height. Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. sucker. As I was saying, one of my favorite streamers is Sosa, and obviously Kenneth Hyde is one of his favorite characters. So we need to to do whatever the, this quest well, is. That's, that's very kind, but, um, what? No. What? The help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Hyde. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, the untarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool and plumb mad to boot, simply obsessed with blood. Mm, I don't know, dude. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. 
them. Yes. Now, allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Honestly, Godric's nothing more than a jumped up country bumpkin. Lord, Damn. Oh, don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. <laughs> Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse. And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah. I almost feel sorry for the chap the more I think of it. But yeah, it seems like a right. For? Uh, the right cunt. And yes, we can say that word in my channel. But very well, we got another quest. But would have been really. Well, no, I don't think it would have been. Mm. Well, let's get the map marker. Just reveal uh, reveal some more map. And since we're here. Oh, careful with the bears. The bear, the bear. Ah, I forgot the song. But yeah, since we're here, if I'm not mistaken, there is the howling. That's what I was looking for. You know who that is, and if you don't, don't worry, we'll see him in a bit. But not just yet, because in the meantime, we do want to uh, get a few things from here. We gotta be careful because there is a bear sleeping. You didn't notice. That's nice. What was this? An actual war? Axe Talisman. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm. Now we got the map. Look at this. The vision is coming together. Now, I believe in this tree, there is something. Hold on. But I don't quite remember what it is. Let's go have a look. With the lilies and mushrooms, you can make a sleeping pots. Just so you know. It's not very important. I don't even think we're gonna use them, but... Just so you know. Where did I mark? Well, at, at the at the tree, I think it's the, 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 the elevator, isn't it? Oh, and yeah, there is many... Uh... There is many of this. Ground slam. There's many scarabs, as you can see. Ah, shit. I'm terrible at this. We also needed this. But yeah, only some of them will have, um... Only some of them will have... Good things. But yeah, I am seriously debating myself right now. Uh, as if to edit too much and cut everything. Let me know in the comments, you know, the first episode will be very useful if you guys could comment. I have thoughts on just cutting a lot 
and making a short video but i think if i leave everything on the video uh, it, it's actually gonna come out quite well even as a pseudo guide i would call it we wouldn't call it a guide so we revealed the map we got the kenneth heights from here i i would like to go south Uh, mostly because I'm gonna start uh... well no really no let's go here this is quite the setup but I really I think I really like I'm really liking how it's uh, how it's coming together I think I wanna like how this is just a full playthrough of uh, 100%. Sorry if I uh, deviate too much. But I would really appreciate insights on this sort of things. Like I have an idea of what I want to do and I like it, but then uh, I don't know, maybe someone can say something that would change my perspective Oi. You, you oh there. yeah true Did you help us out, Cully? wait this one right you? yeah you there stop pretending you can't see me you go and do that for mm -hmm. oh yes i remember some clod turned me into a tree you were just breaking the spell weren't you yeah Thank dude you. the name's bok i was pushed out of the cave told not to come back not ever then i ended up as a tree <laughs> lucky you came along really Ah, uh, worry not, dude. Oh, what a shame. A kindred spirit. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Then mushroom, remember, with lilies you can make sleeping pots. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value then i'd be of some real use to you i reckon very well right but i'll need i'm i'm frightened of them my knees well yeah that's it with this guy uh there is some villages over there but i think we better go south hmm I forgot if this is actually something nice. Oof. The funny thing about those... Uh, about these guys is that if you kill one of them... Well, I remember that wrong then. Oh, there's the Night Cavalry. He will fuck me up right now. Not interested. Right. Oh. So from here, I believe, we're going to go to get our first... Um, better weapon, I would say. Maybe a weapon that we can work with uh, through the setup sort of thing. <clears throat> Which is the Morning Star. I don't know what is in here. Oh, true. You cannot open that one. If you haven't killed the giants. Worry not, lads. Um, we will get it. 
Oh, and remember, you don't have to spam the torrent writing. Just if you press it once, you don't even have to hold it. It's going to run just as fast. There is no way to accelerate it more. It's just a placebo effect. And whatever speedrunners say, remember that they are stinky poop heads. Right, so we're gonna go to the Weeping Peninsula now. Remember that is where... Oh, yeah, and over there... It's where we're going to get the, the weapon. That I'm gonna use for a, a little portion of the... Of the series. This series, uh, unlike the Baldur's Gate 3, it really gives me a chance to just blab non-stop, does it? Like, I'm, I've been speaking a whole lot. And also let me know, again, in the comments. Is it annoying? Do you prefer me to, to be quiet, uh, to show more things, or to maybe, instead of blabbing nonsense, comment on what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to do right now a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything that I mentioned. It's very difficult to be a content creator in English language. Oh, more dialogue, lads. Let's go. Greetings. Hello. Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. Howling, you say? Secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. So, her name is Irina from Castle Morn. That it's obviously if you're a Souls guy, you know that's a reference to Dark Souls 3. Um how long you say? I I fear for father's life. He's in the castle, you said. Are full of wrath, filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle, my soul wishes that he escape, even if his honor should be the price. Please, I just want him to be safe. Sure. Thank you, dearly. Then please, take this. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Woman, you shouldn't be out here in the rain. There is that thing covering over there please if you wouldn't mind he can be stubborn but i'm sure he'll come around i said it please he can be stubborn yes yet another quest lads then again friendly reminder worry not about these giants and and foes we will clean just not yet. We need to get some. Oh, that is the morning star, yeah. Get some setup done. Let's see now. Instead of a death counter, you should. Uh, you guys should make a. a whiff counter. How many times do I. Swing my sword to the air. Ah, uh, it's another knight's cavalry. Buy more selling. Ah, oh, straight to the point, are you? What have you got? Well, this is very nice. We could buy it. Uh, the stone sword key, always good. The bastard sword, well, I'm going to get a, the, the, I forgot the name, but it's the better version of the bastard sword. So, probably shouldn't buy it. 
As for this, probably should. It might be needed. The human mobs. Maybe later we'll come and buy the and buy that to to read it. Something I don't even remember about this game. Got the letter. Can I read it? Let's see address to the commander to the castle Morn. But I cannot read it. That would have been cool though. Very well. Now. Here. Okay, there's the map. Oh yeah, there's the giants here. That will crush you with the... Gigantic arrows. I almost forget about them. Right, over there is a sacred tier. Oh, that was lucky. Maybe that was too lucky. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, let me see. Maybe I should go and get that bonfire already. So we can short... Uh... We can short, shorten uh, running sections in the future. No, I hope aim. There is a cave here that we will do, eventually. Right. So we got the map. This is the merchant here. From the merchant, I believe... Um... North. Yeah, I think if I follow the path here until this village, I find... Da -da 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 -da. A church with something in it. You know how this is, lads. It's all about exploring and just getting everything out of the way. Okay, so there is this shack. If I follow the path, the way, I make it. Uh, this is full of rats. Yeah. To this church. Sacred tier. Flame Frenzy, oh, that's good. That's really good, actually. Ah. Oof. Just a man lost in the last between. Well, just a Githyanki. And 
from here. I think it would be a good idea to... To go through the... Um, through the bridge. Just to clear all that area. Hmm. It's safe? Oh, uh, well, yeah. It's a very nice, uh, despite the fact of being Baron's land. The design is just really good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no. No, 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 no. I think I've, I mistook the church. I thought that was the church with the turtle pope. It isn't. Which church is the one with the... We got lots of uh, points for the flask. Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, I, I legitimately got scared. Okay, so there's another church there. There is a war spot. One of those uh, mini boss fights. Beast liver. What's in here? No. I remember this one. And we are not even ready for that. So yeah, that's a war spot. We're gonna come here as well. Hear that, lads? It's one of the mausoleums. Walking mausoleum. Nice. Oh. You fucking freaks, what are you doing here? Fourth Church of Marika. Quite frankly, I don't even remember this one. Is there any much more here? Yeah, it's lots of things. But mostly undead. Uh, weirdos. So, there's that. Tom's Ward Ruins. Fourth Church of Marika. Then probably should go to... Um... Well, yeah, let's go to, to do the Blythe thing. At last, maybe we can get to to do our our first mini boss with the help of Blythe.
Wait, no, I'm an idiot. You don't do it like that. You have to talk about... You have to talk to... Kale about the... The howling... That you heard in the woods. Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? About the howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf. In the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Ah, oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Finger snap. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine, Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But I like if that. anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. Yeah, well, that hits cold, close to home. So to speak, just the way we are, deeply unforgiving. So it's life, mate. So it's life. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, friend. Very well. We've been given... Mm, finger snap. Perform... Finger snap. As we hear the... Uh, Kenneth Hyde, it's over there, right? Wait, where am I? I got lost. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true, we... Found the morning star. Let's let's talk to Blythe and see that he basically handheld us to get in the 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 other weapon that I that I want. Obviously I don't have the stats, but we'll work our way through it. In the time being, let's just worry about uh, getting the weapon. So you might remember over here that it was the shit. Even I forgot. Ah, thanks. The howling always uh, helps. Look at that. Cannot see it. There it is. Fine. Uh, how was it? <laughs> Look at that. He's massive. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? 
Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Darrowell. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Got a massive sword. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Darrowell is nothing and in need. Very well, that is it. Uh, look at Blythe. Basically, a reference to Berserk. I have never read nor watched Berserk. I don't really want to. It seems like it's, it's trauma-causing content. But yeah, and it's pretty cool design, nonetheless. But I love a uh, massive sword that did not come out right, but you know what I mean. Now uh, we gotta go here if we want to get the the the, the um, how was it called the blood fang curve sword, blood fang curve sword or something like that. And if you see those worms, sort of creatures. Which actually, I didn't even do anything with my physics. Ah, uh, but in, in, in reality, if you cast, if you summon Blythe, he does all the job. So, we wouldn't have to worry about it. So, uh, you, saw, you see those things and you get here. And you enter an arena or something like that. And once in there, in here... Here's Blythe. Look at that. Darrowell. Nothing in a cell is no true justice. No. This one doesn't do anything, this right? Ends for you. No, because I didn't put anything on it. Right, got it, Blythe. Shit. That is the sword uh, that I want. With this HP, if I get hit, I basically die. Well, I don't die. At least. No, Blythe! Okay, Blythe heal himself. Okay, now we go. I don't know why I wasn't holding in 200. How many weaves? <laughs> Very well. You're not saying that you're um, something else? Blythe. It's a cool name. It sounds Welsh for some reason. No swipe that. <sighs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Nice. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, Tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit-chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Very well. That's, That's all we get this time we parted ways. from Blythe. And from here... 
I am going to head towards um, back to back to the main spot, uh, the middle spot of the Ling Rave, and from there we're gonna go towards Lyurnia. Get the map, scan all of that sort of things. We're gonna go back and talk to Vare as well. But I think that's where I'm... This is where I'm gonna leave the episode. So, this episode, more than anything, it's... To try and get some input. Uh, do you want the episodes to be this long and showing everything that I do? Do you want me to edit everything in a two-hour video ending up on a half-an-hour video sort of situation? Let me know. Remember that I am going to do all the content. I'm going to clean all content. So, yeah. I really hope you enjoy it. And if not, let me know. You know, I need the insight if possible. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.